So today I'm going to be talking with the founder of Zim Art and her name is Fran Fernley. We're also going to be looking at a demonstration of one of Fran's artists that she represents from Zimbabwe who has actually been selected uh, to be one of the artists in residence this year at her gallery. So it's going to be very exciting for us. We're going to be able to see what it's actually like to watch somebody hand carve, not with power tools, but by hand, uh, an actual stone sculpture. And his name is, sorry, his name is Walter Mariga. Am I saying that properly? Yes. Okay, is that his father um, helped actually found the uh, Shona sculpture movement in Zimbabwe back in the 60s. So now I'm going to ask Brian some questions. Uh, yes, this is our uh, first opportunity to um, exhibit in Westmount at the Victoria Hall Gallery. My understanding is that this community is particularly interested and sensitive to the arts and has a number of its own artists and it's always been the case I found that artists can often be the most appreciative uh, uh, of this work of anyone else. They can see the skill and the talent of the artists, they understand the complexity of the materials and there's a wonderful kind of synergy between artists meeting other artists and sharing ideas. I think the most important thing um, for anyone who's considering, you know, adding this work to their collection or maybe they, it's their first art that they have, have bought, the quality of the work and even knowing about who the artist is and, uh, you know, what their inspiration was, the title, the biography, all of those things can be missing when the work has gone through a wholesaler. So I think the more direct the relationship can be between the, the collector and the artist, um, the better. And uh, there is obviously a special uh, feeling and connection that happens when you have the opportunity to meet the artist who created the work. So, and I think the same is true for the artist uh, themselves, that there's something quite special for them in being able to meet the person who's going to take the art and put it into their home. Yeah, it's called in, in Inception, and it's made out of, uh, you know, uh, leopard rock. Leopard rock is a hard stone coming from Zimbabwe. I love it because it has got, you know, different colors in it, and uh, composition of minerals mixed together, and the hardness of the stone is so marvelous. Uh, you can't, you know, stop staring at it. If you look at it, it's more nice. I love that. My father used, uh, used not, uh, he didn't do abstract forms, but now I'm doing abstract forms. But when I think of making my real, real Shona art, I go with my father because people should know when the Shona people are making sculptures. There should be a distinction between the Europeans and Shona art. But first of all, uh, me as an artist, I love you know, the shape of the stone that tells me what exactly to make. When I look at the stone, there should be a story coming out of the stone. Then from there I know where exactly to start and where exactly to stop. It's not like I have to take everything, like every stone for sculpture. The stone should talk to me first before I start. Uh, yes, my permanent gallery, which is called the Rice Lake Gallery, is on the north side of Rice Lake, which is in Ontario, about an hour east of Toronto. So we're so halfway between Peterborough and Port Hope, and really rural. Like I actually have, you have to drive through a farm to get to the gallery, and then another farm surrounds my gallery. So you, you, you couldn't be in a more um, sort of bucolic uh, country setting. I love that. No, keep enjoying my art. I hope you are going to enjoy it more. Thank you very much. So that was Zim Art, When the Stone Talks, which is now um, on view at the gallery at Victoria Hall here in Westmount. And it's the exhibition is running through till October 7th. I hope you will go by and uh, stop by and see it and meet the gallery owner as well as Walter, the very talented artist, and get to see some other sculptures from Zimbabwe and uh, that are part of the Shona art movement. Again, I'm Nadine Henley and I thank you for watching. Have a great day.